of fact, no pterodactyl. When I'm micro and macro, my mind. Why would I try to hide the fact that I'm Jack to be actually naturally high? And I'm that guy with the flashlight, looking back at the track of the black light. How about this? Simple tap, pay attention to wax. You're free to see what that's like. And that's why we need. All right, gang, Ian Anderson, Central Coast Disco. We're back with some more 2016 SF Safari Round 1. We've got part two. We're again joined by the voice of Spin TV and this year's tournament director, Jamie Thomas. How's it going, Jamie? Hey, I I can't wait to see what happens on the middle section of this course. Yeah, it should be fun. We're playing it's like kind of the back nine of the regular course before we hop across the road. Um, but it's definitely more challenging than the front nine, I, w- I would say, personally. Agree? You know, I used to think so, but I noticed for me anyway, I tend to score better on the back nine, especially when it's set up easy, uh-huh. which it definitely for this first round, uh, Sean Jack, the TD for this year, or for 2016, excuse me, he likes to kind of go easy, medium, hard. Okay. So this is like, this is the deuce or die kind of layout. Uh, so uh, we should see some, we should see at least one of these players, you know, knock, knock some birdies down. Cool. Can't wait to watch. We got we got Jeff Faze on the card. We got Sean Mercy on the card. So we should see some good birdies. And Jabir's been playing well. That guy can drive and putt. He he throws plenty far for a Masters player. And Nicole Bradley ranging some putts as well. She has and throwing some great drives as well. Uh, looks like Jeff Faze carded the lone birdie on that last uh, Mark's Metal hole. Uh, he's six down now through ten. That's pretty good. If you're keeping score at home, uh, hole nine B. Uh, tell us about Jamie. Uh, 9B is uh, pretty basic. I mean, you can attack it with all kinds of shots. Uh, Most players are just going to throw a basic backhand hyzer and uh, just fire it in there and make a putt (laughs) as long as you get past that tree. And the squirrel. Don't forget about the squirrel. Trying to take it out. Yeah, he did. And Nicole Bradley got the power to get there. God, she's got a great toss. Oh. oh man, that tree is so well placed. It is, isn't it? It's unbelievable how many distance stops and how many awkward putts it makes. Yeah, I think she had three and a quarter dialed in perfect there, if not for that tree. Agreed. Uh, looks like Sean came up a little bit shorter than Nicole. Sean and uh, Jabir coming up right at the mouth there. Perfect shot. John Toby. Uh, he just needed he needed a little more flip up on that. He did. Should be an easy three though. Loved himself a little Ooh. tester. I was about to say. Sean. That's an easy three. Yeah, that is an easy three for Sean. Uh, Nicole has a look for two. Not easy though. She's gonna take three. Solid. So much golf. Yeah. I mean. Oh, Jabir. Another birdie up. And uh, another birdie up converted for Jeff, which is what Jeff does. Oh, Mr. Toby, Mr. President. Uh, That upshot bit him. Hey, when he did that on the first part, though, what did he do the very next hole? This is true. He (laughs) just, he sank a nice deuce, so (laughs) let's see what happens. Yeah. This next one's definitely attackable. Metal game strong. That's what they say about JT. Yeah, and I mean, there's, it's hard to fret over one. I mean, you have two rounds of 30, and then I think the final round in 2016 was 22 holes. So yeah. 82 holes of golf. Yeah. Plenty to go here. Uh, we're on to our third Mark's Meadow hole, a hole nine C. This one changed a little bit from previous year, Jamie. It was on top of the picnic basket, Yeah, right? okay. So this, this year is not on top of the picnic table. It's. Oh, I think that, it's yes, just in behind in the shade. Yeah, there it is. It's up the hill a little bit. Um, that was a great throw by Jeff. Cole going to line up a backhand. Going for the technical shot. Yeah. Crashed him pretty close. Yeah, just I a little bit couldn't short. really see where she dropped, but if she got in front of that bush, she's money. Yeah. Sean Mercy. And maybe a little kicked over to skip. Yeah. yeah. Oh. The meadow doesn't skip. Even it doesn't. when it's mowed, it it just bites. Yeah, especially into that hill. 
you're not going to get much action. Uh, Jabir turned that one over way too much. Going to make for a tough upshot. JT doing the same. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. Club president love right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's see if you can make this upshot work. Tough kind of line to hit here. Yeah. Had to force yeah, the height with that Annie. Exactly. That's a spot where like a MPO player is probably going little mini roller. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the angle's so hard. Yeah, I could totally see that. I was like Nicole did come up quite a bit short. Just gonna have to lay up for par and then fade it out. Gonna give her a tester for hers. Sean looking at the two. Oh no. Weird. That's crazy. That one looked really good. It must have been just a little pro side. Yeah. A little I, too pro. I think you're right. Uh, Nicole came up short on her par bid. Going to take a four. And Jeff just cards birdies. That's all he does. Card and birds. Hey, I'm going to take this moment here. i got to give a shout out. You see consistent baskets on the temp course, with I think exception of the one on 9A. Leonard Muse, uh -huh. one of the course designers of Golden Gate Park. His company, oh, nice. Whirlwind Disc Golf. He uh -huh. donates all the tee pads and these uh, portable Mach 5s every year. He's doing it again this year. Wow. So we can, every year our temp course just gets nicer and nicer and he's really helped us out with that. So Did you see how Shout level it to was Leonard. too? It was extremely yeah. level. Leonard. Yeah. We're, we have a, a course foreman that makes sure all our course setup, our temp setup is good and he's playing this year. So we have somebody new taking his spot. Right, cool. Super excited. Leonard also designed uh, the Glen Eagles course, right? He did. He designed Glen Eagles. Um, he designed Oyster Bay, which they just began construction on. Oh, cool. It's over in the East Bay, really out on the bay. It was a landfill. Huh. And it's going to be a brand new course with two tee pads and two baskets on every hole. Wow. So lots of ways to play it. And they put some insane amount of dirt, brought it in so they can actually, like, start landscaping it over the next I think 20 years is the plan no kidding and really try to make it a premier course in the East Bay so wow that's incredible yeah Leonard is a, a huge part of the NorCal scene you yeah. can't go anywhere without seeing some of his mark yeah he's fantastic for the game um, hole 10 is a tough one so close to the, to the edge is the basket right here um, makes for a really tough park job Jamie yeah, and Nicole actually threw a really beautiful line. It was just probably three feet inside. Yeah, hit that fence. She has to <laughs> negotiate now. Yeah, if she if she can slide that up, wow, then that works. Oh, Jeff pays cards a par. What? Stop, Get out of here! Stop the presses. Oh, Sean doesn't though. Oh, Mercy got the bird. Nice one. Taking that box. Jabir. Solid. Yep. And this hole actually suffered a, a mini tragedy as well. Oh. You'll see this big tree that's kind of right by the tee pad. If the camera pans just right, uh -huh. ah, it uh, it fell. Oh, really? And so now, I mean, it's a massive stump. There are people up there that you can just play hacky sack on top of that stump now. Dang. So... I've been to the course since, uh, since the winter. I'm interested to see it this weekend. Should be interesting. Uh, hole 11. Uh, Dogly left. We're going pyramid position here. This is the pyramid. Yep. Oh, great drive by Sean. Yeah, that's that's great. I mean, another highly aced position. Yeah. Jeff also throwing it pretty well. You can see the Mando right there. Going to go right of that tree. The beer hanging out a little bit wide. It's fighting. That's a scrape. Yeah, and that's the danger. Kind of down in that bowl, the wind swirls. It's really hard to get an accurate wind read, and this is a hole that the locals have a lot of an advantage on. Uh, because, you know, sometimes the angle coming out of their hand doesn't look like it's going to get near the pin. And then you see it, and it's like, oh, that is the shot. Yep. Oh, Nicole catches one of those trees. I've seen this happen quite a lot. Going Annie over the tree for a second. Ooh. Third, gonna try and save a bogey here. 
There's also the the whole of the infamous eating crap guy. Um, have you seen that video, Jamie? Oh yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the guy that just face plants over the yeah. side of it. What was that made the rounds of like ridiculousness and Tosh point oh and all that? Yeah, it was, got spread around. Fantastic. Glad yeah. that's the legacy in many, the mainstream media of uh, Golden Gate Park. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love that putt by Sean, though. Makes a nice birdie. And Nicole. Yeah, that was a death putt if I've ever seen one. Yeah. <clears throat> JT, making a good putt. Good par there. Yeah, if you miss from where Sean Mercy was, you are taking a bogey. You are. Uh, but he did card the two along with Jeff Faze. Is now nine down. That's pretty good. Hole 12. Hole 12 is a beast, uh, especially when it's a long, but I think it's one of the shorter ones for this one, Jamie. Yeah, hole 12 is a lot of fun. Uh, it has the only pin position on this course that I still have not birdied. So in the, the ultra long, the C pin, uh, that one eludes me, but it's a this bomb. one is very birdieable. It is, yeah. Just throw a big hyzer up the valley. Yeah, the guys are kind of aiming over that. Uh, oh, good dodge. Yeah. Actually, this might be in the long uh, with the way Jeff just threw that. True. Or in the medium pin, at least. Yeah. Oh, I remember this one. Jim Beard turned that one way over, and he's behind that bush on top of the hill. Oh. I went yeah, there was, with him. I'm trying to figure out if that's operator error or the wind, because I can see the leaves moving a little bit. I, I wonder if you just grabbed the wrong disc, man, because that thing just went... I, it is pretty windy, isn't it? You're right. Nicole. Looks like she's going up there, too. So much better to be on the right side than the left, though. Yeah. So oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think Corey gift that at some point. Um... There's his third. Oh man, he's got some work left to do here. Yeah, that was that was a on. It just went on tilt when he, he threw that one. He did. Got a bad beat, man. A uh, good upshot by Nicole, though. Look at this. Wow. Oh, it isn't. That's the ultra long. So yeah, this it is. is a C pin. Uh, so yeah, this is the this is the pin I was talking about. The only one that's eluded me for a birdie. And it takes such a great shot just to get down in there. Mm -hmm. And then to can the putt as well. I'd say it almost favors your left-handedness, though, because you can throw a flex shot at it. Definitely. The the lefty flex, or if you have a massive uh, forehand, like big germ-style forehand, you yeah. can really stretch it out. But the righty hyzer, you kind of get where Jeff is very often. Yeah. If you have pro power, this is where you go. Oh, gave it a chance, but going to take a par. JT, I believe this is his par attempt. Going to take a four. Cole also for par. Oh. oh. thought that was it. Jabir. I believe that's a five. Hopefully, anyway. JT clean. Yeah, and we sometimes have a pin that's directly back up in that little alcove you can see past where they're walking. And that's we play that as a par four. That's a tough pin up in there. Yeah, nobody's doing that unless you have a 150 foot throw in. It's it's a crazy. I don't that's think a, I've ever heard of a two nah. in that that way long pin. It's a really cool pin though. I like it way back up there. It's really tactical. Um, yeah, and all the ivy's grown up, and mm -hmm. so you can't you can't slide anything. You have to really get your height right. Yeah, you can't miss left or right either. It's a pretty tiny gap. Sean cleans up nicely. We're not playing it this year, though. I've got really? I've got some fun planned for the Sunday layout. Oh, yeah, all right. I've cut it down to 18 holes, yeah. and it, there's going to be some never before played uh, holes in the safari. So I'm down with that. Yeah, I'm, I might be throwing a few curveballs as far as uh, camera positioning, but <laughs> uh, I'll work on it with you. We'll, we'll help you out as much as possible. <laughs> Beautiful. A <laughs> hole 13 coming up. That's in the right position, which is probably easier than the straight, although not much. Yeah. Oh, face. Almost unwound one. Yeah. Mercy took a little local route into that right gap. Normally, you just want to throw over that kind of stump. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's a nasty kick for JT. And you got to miss that little V-tree. Dude, Nicole headed right for one of those eucalyptus. 
Hanging out with JT. Jabir. And the challenge on this hole, too, is this is right behind the tee pad. There's crossover drive, which is one of the main kind of arteries to get through the park. Mm -hmm. So if people know you or sometimes just see you playing disc golf, they like to honk at you and try to razz you. <laughs> Beautiful. So tournament or no tournament, it'll happen. Nice. It's, a, it's city park golf. Yeah, you, you have your own unique set of obstacles to deal with. Yeah. A decent upshot from Nicole. Came up a little bit short left. Here's Jabir just laying it for par. That'll work. Phase, give this a go. Okay. Yeah, safe to run. Yep. Nicole for par. Ooh. From downtown. Impressive. That's yeah. a great hit. I mean, that, that was outside the circle. Oh, yeah, that was good 40 45 right there. Not so much. Got to take a bug. Is this Sean for birdie? I think so. I think he snuck that local gap wow. and capitalized. Well done, Sean. Hey, when the course shows you love, take the birdie. Show love back. Yeah. That's what I tell myself anyway. I feel like if the course gives you a good kick, you owe it. You do. To make that next shot count. Got to take advantage. Uh, there is Sean getting a six down. Only three back of face. That's He's sneaking up on him. He is. That's 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 pretty good. I'd be, I'd be stuck within three of phase after this many holes. A uh, hole 14 is coming up. Uh, part of three, 369. Do you remember which pin we're playing here? I don't. If we got a second camera angle, I can tell you. Okay, it's the... Oh, it's the D pin. Yep, there it is right there. Um, this is the best pin on this hole. It's a lot of fun. You like this one? I do. Uh, there's a bunch of routes you can take. Phase is testing that OB, though. I think that's going to finish OB. Yeah. Yep. Just didn't kick it over quite enough. Yeah. Uh, Sean a little too much, but that is the better error to make because he is inbounds and has a uphill comeback putt. Nicole turns it over a little bit too much as well. Stay up the hill. Oh. And she actually, she played the right line just too low. Yeah. Um, the way that disc was unwinding, and Jabir looks like he's got it on a dialed here. Ooh, even a nice kick right there. Yeah, that's going to be great. Man, if you turn it over too much and it just never hooks up, you can go over that cliff and go so far. I, I've done it. It's not fun. Going down that hill after your disc. Been down there like you're putting back at 11. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nicole just laying up. JT hopefully doing the same. It's a smart play from there. We got... Is that Jabir? Yeah, it's Jabir. Oh! Oh, wow. Man, he can putt. He can. He, he has... He puts a lot of snap on the putter. Uh, so it glides a long way. Long range putts are not a problem. Yeah, we have seen that. Uh, Sean did miss his birdie putt along with Jeff Faze, who uh, comes back and makes the par. And uh, everybody else should be doing the same. I guess Jeff makes a bogey with the OB stroke. My bad. Yeah, no shame in pars here. Bogey feels bad. Uh, it is the second hardest, I would say, pin position of this hole, but it's still one that it's just right there in front of you. It requires a little more technical shot, but it, it just invites the attack. Yeah. You got to throw a flex at least. You can't just throw an easy hyzer. So it's absolutely definitely some difficulty to it. Uh, full 15 is coming. This might be my favorite hole, Jamie. It just thrown off the cliff. You could throw a big, long, like hyzer flip to hyzer. I don't, I don't know. I just like it a lot. Beautiful. And, uh, oh, we want, if we want to rag on Sean Jack, the reason that second shot was a close-up of the rail, uh -huh. that's the rail Sean Jack tripped over after throwing, and he broke his arm. Oh, no. And this was before the thing that happened on 11 went viral. Was it really? Yeah, he was he was running it out off to the left side of the tee. He tripped uh, over it, fractured his arm. Oh, man. And, so. uh, yeah, it was it was bad. He even had a disc. Uh, I, th I think it was like a Dymaxed uh, X-ray. He took the x-ray of his arm really? and put it on a disc and was throwing it for a while. So, 
short. Wow. Wow. How about these drives we're watching from Nicole and Javier? Do you see those? Those were those were crucial. They were um, parked. Yeah, great shots. And like you're saying, it's it's a simple hyzer. It's right yeah. in front of you. Don't catch a roll like that. No. Yeah. Or an early tree like JT. Um, but looks like he's gonna compensate here with a nice up shot. Get. Still a little bit short. Got a 50 footer for par. Yeah, this is usually what my second shot looks like where he is being a lefty. It's was, hard to get it on that hillside. <laughs> it's a tough lefty hole. But Mercy made a nice one right there. He did. Faze keeping pace. Nicole, the closest of all. Wow. She can play. Yeah, it's awesome. It's just awesome to be reminded of how great she is playing. Yeah. Just I, check I, that out. I had never filmed her before. I was yeah, super impressed. Hashtag throw like a girl. All right. I wish I could. <laughs> we got four birdies and that bogey from John Toby. Uh, taking us to full 16. We're going back up that hill we just came down. Uh, back is just a little bit short left of the tee pad they just threw from. Um, another fun hole, JT. Yeah, this one's a lot of fun. Sean put that hyzer in just a little tight there, but yeah, yeah, this is a, a slightly longer pin. B is basically 20 feet deep of A, so you kind of can throw the same shot, and Nicole's thrown it really well there, and just have a look at either basket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the danger here is if you fade out a little bit too early, you can fade up pretty far. Um, thankfully, the, the sand stops your beer, and he's going to have a putt for two. That was a great drive. Yeah, that is that is literally 10 feet from each pin. So he's dialed for either one. And for FaZe, that was a terrible drive. Yeah, too, hyzer, too much hyzer out of the hand. Yeah. That that kind of right-to-left down slope really pulls your disc. So, you know, a lot of people have no problem putting it wide out and just kind of letting it skip down the hill. Yeah, I like that play a lot. Uh, JT came up short right, pitched up for par phase. Almost cards a two anyway. Ooh. Sean Mercy's leaving bang another good putt. Huh? Almost. Yeah. Got a lot of basket. Oh, Nicole is looking for back to back birdies. <laughs> good putt from JT right there. Yeah, good save. Jabir. Oh, Jabir. Jabir, you can't be doing that. Oh my goodness. Oh, after that drive. Oh, buddy. Those uh, ones hurt. Yeah, he he could be so much lower. Yeah. With the drives he's throwing this round. Amazing, man. And don't worry, anybody listening. We're not beating up on him. Jabir's a friend. No, he's he a knows guy. it. <laughs> He'd say the same. Uh, he yeah. was sitting at even. Uh, Sean's at seven down, just two back of phaser beam. Hole Sneaking up on him right he now. Is hole 17. Jamie, this hole. Uh, what, what do you say about this hole? Uh, that squiggly tree. Uh huh. At least that's what I call it. The Dr. Seuss looking thing there. Uh huh. Just miss that. Easier or just said than pipe done. Pipe it like yeah. Sean did. But that's the trouble, too. The way the land just kind of drops down. Honestly, if you can throw 350. You know, if you have 350 of power, your best play here is a putter. Yeah. And everybody's shocked when I say that. And then, you know, I don't throw super far, but I can get this pin with a putter just because of the way it stays so straight and just drops out of the air. Yeah, just coasts. So that's my advice. If you want to go play San Francisco and you see 17 in the B pin, throw something slow. Cool. I dig it, man. I'm going to try that next time. Phase. I think that's what FaZe has done. He looks like he had a mid-range there. Mm -hmm. JT. Oh! Bit of a Yankee doodle, but that was a great kick. Wow. Yeah. Couldn't have finished more in the middle of the fairway. Makes up for it there. Wow. Salvaging par after that drive is uh, it's a good thing. Jabir going to try and smash one in here. Ooh. That was a good run. Jeff Faze. Oh, how about that? Just a couple inches low. 
got it over here. And the coal? Yeah, I think so. Right, yeah, did it almost go in from way outside? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's Nicole. That's the best way to tell. JT cleans up. Nice par after that drive. Sean going to drop in a par as well. Yeah, and even though this is a very birdieable and even aceable pin, there's really no shame in a par. Nah. I mean, it, the OB to the right, and honestly, the OB sidewalk that's not even a part of the course out to the left is, it's in play. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of trees and a lot of nasty nasty kicks to be had. Um, is that already right. 10 holes? That's 10 holes, man. It goes, it goes by fast when it's as fun. It does. Love you guys. All right. Uh, thanks. All, that's all we got for part two. JT, thanks again. Uh, we'll be back for part three. Everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.